Hey, this is Brian, also known as the Robo Spartan. And this is that one guy, Mitchell. And in our project, we are going to be testing real life conditions in a video game. While driving. All right, so for our first experiment, we'll be varying the weight in individual vehicles. One vehicle will have one driver and two passengers, while the other will only have one driver and no passengers. We hypothesize that this change in weight will not vary the speed between the two vehicles. Alright, so Mitchell's loaded two guests into the car, including myself now, and Mitchell is in his own car, and we're going to find out if they're varying speeds in the weight. For the weight experiment, we hypothesized that changing the weight would not affect the driving speed of the Warthog. As results show, even tripling the passenger capacity has no effect on speed, and both Warthogs fell off the cliff at the exact same time, even though they both started at the same place from the same time. For the second experiment, we'll be determining whether objects of different size will fall at different rates. If you've taken a physics course before, you'll know that gravity is always constant near the surface of a planet. and the, the rate at which an object falls is based solely on the, its size because this will affect how air resistance slows it down. So we, did, we set up several vehicles in different positions and we determined if the vehicle turned one way would fall at the same speed if it's at its regular way because if the vehicle is vertical, it's slightly more aerodynamic than if the whole bottom of the vehicle is just being hit by air resistance and slowing it down. So we'll be determining whether this affects anything or not. Alright, so we hypothesize that the vehicle that are placed properly on the uh, video game will land first, rather than the vehicles that are placed nose down. Alright, so we found out that through our experiment that half the vehicles that were properly placed the way they should be on the video game landed first rather than each vehicle that was faced nose down. We will now be taking a brief commercial break. Oh no! A giant appears! Troll! Welcome back from our brief commercial break. We hope you enjoyed it. And now we'll move on to our final experiment, where we test water resistance. In this experiment, we'll be testing whether driving in the water has an effect on your speed in comparison to driving on dry land. Our hypothesis is that there would be no effect, so we'll find out in just a second. As you can see in the picture, water resistance does affect the speed of the vehicle. The vehicle on the left, as we hypothesized, was faster because it had no water resistance, whereas the vehicle on the right, which had water resistance, was considerably slower than the vehicle on the left with no resistance. Well, in conclusion, it would appear that while some things do carry over into the game, not everything does. So, when it comes to realism with vehicles, Halo is pretty hit or miss. Uh, thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it.